Are you preparing for two quarterbacks? Yeah, we're preparing for Louisville. I mean, their their system is, uh, you know, very much ingrained, you know, for what they do. And, uh, you know, Coach Satterfield's been doing it for a long time, and uh, they're extremely efficient, uh, whichever quarterback's in there. So, uh, you know, we'll be ready. When you watch the film from Georgia, what stood out in your red zone stops, especially the one you go line stand there? Um, you know, well, it's two things. It's execution and it's effort. Um, you know, once you get inside the two yard line, there's no, uh, there's no great calls, uh, you know, on the call sheet anymore. It's about, uh, guys just getting big, getting physical, uh, and, you know, playing with will, you know, and that, that's what they did. They had in any goal line stand, it's about will. And, and do you want to impose yours or do you want to, uh, you know, get pushed back in the end zone and give them a touchdown. So uh, really proud of, you know, how they sort of uh, – they didn't flinch down there on the goal line. They, they understand it was first and goal from, uh, you know, down inside the the five, and, and then they just keep chugging away, hold, and uh, third and one, fourth and one, you know, against really big personnel that, uh, you know, typically ends up in the end zone. So. In, in rivalry games, some – Coaches will want to kind of temper emotions, and other times you kind of want to feed into it to get your guys juiced up. Is this a situation uh, over the years where you all excelled by kind of getting your guys fired up for this game? Well, I think any rivalry game, I think, uh, like you said, it's a very emotional game. You can throw out, you know, you throw out records, you throw out venues, you just you understand that there's. Uh, going to be very heated, uh, hotly contested plays. Uh, and, you know, I, I don't think you need to do much motivation in that regard. I think uh, from both sides, I think both sides are really going to want to win this game. They understand how important it is. The guys <coughs> understand how important this game is, uh, you know, for this state. And, uh, you know, they've done a good job uh, the last couple of times. But, again, you can throw out – you know, history in that regard. Every game, you know, when, when two teams that, uh, you know, both sides will be ready. Dean looked like he was a guy who showed up in that, those goal line stands. Where did you just see his progress? First yeah, he's, you know what, it, it's, it was great to see him make some plays there. You know, he, uh, you know, he's had some success, you know, in certain games, you know, Tennessee, he did some, some good things. And um, it's, it's learning to, to play with pad level and technique because he, he has the body, uh, you know, he has the strength, the length. And when he can put it all together and, uh, you know, we keep trying to, to give him a little bit more action, you know, as the, the season's gone along and he's done a good job uh, for the most part, you know, in that. And we'll continue to bring him along and build a role and find spots. And uh, again, we, we talk about any position. It's sort of about gaining confidence. Um, and so if you can find little niche roles to, to gain those, and some guys get it on special teams. Some guys get it in, you know, he got it in a goal line package this week. But he also, you know, he, he found some playing time, you know, in normal down and distance scenarios. And so, uh, you know, really, really looking forward to uh, watching him continue to grow and develop in this defense. Talk about the back end of your defense here as well. Mm -hmm. I just have one or two more. No. I said, talk about the back end of your defense and all that, and in, in, in particular, Jordan Lovett and how he played. Yeah, you know, I thought the the back end, uh, you know, did a <clears> solid <throat> job, obviously, uh, you know, this past week. You know, they're – there weren't um, necessarily a ton of, uh, you know, vertical balls that, that got pushed down the field. Uh, the one that, that did, you know, Jordan made a nice play and got the, the interception, but the, the entire back end really did a nice job on that, pushing the, uh, pushing the post over and, um, you know, understanding what concept was coming. Um, you know, Alex Farr did like what a lot of people don't realize. They were trying to, you know, leak Bowers out late, and Farr did a really nice job getting that clamp down and, and running with it. 
you know, Zion did a nice job pulling the over. We were, we were just in really good positioning there. And uh, JJ did a nice job forcing, uh, forcing, you know, Stetson to sort of throw it probably earlier than he wanted. Um, and so overall, I, you know, I've been pleased. Jordan, uh, excuse me, Jordan Love, it's been, we, we've talked about it all year. Uh, for a guy that was supposed to come in and this was going to be his year to sort of be the rotational safety, uh, you know, gain reps, gain that experience as a redshirt freshman to, to play as well as he has and to elevate sort of throughout um, and, and not without hiccups, and he knows that, but uh, <coughs> played really, really well, uh, you know, in that game on Saturday, and uh, we need him to continue to play well uh, on this Saturday. Ty, Asian, Jordan Wright, DeAndre Square, guys who played a, a lot of football for you, final home game. What, what were the emotions like that for you going into? Yeah, th those are, uh, for me, those are guys that sort of grew in this defense. As I grew in this defense, they grew with me. And so, it, yeah, it's, it'll be an emotional day for me. You know, and, and all of us, we sort of just have to, you know, keep it in check. I mean, you, I, you know, you, you've got an emotional senior day in a rivalry game. I mean, there's there's a lot of emotions going on. I mean, <laughs> you, you just sort of are going to run the gamut. Um, but it's going to be about composure. And that's whether it's senior day, whether it's rivalry, composure is going to be the key. The, the, the team that can stay composed, stay focused on the job at hand and not let their emotions get the best of them. They can, they can let those emotions fuel them, but not overtake them. And we've got to do a good job. Um, but those guys mean the world to me. Um, and, and they know that uh, anything they need, you know, ever in life, they, they can they can pick up the phone and I'll, I'll answer on the first round. Coach Kang is your guy. Thanks, bro. Thank, Thank you. you.